morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday 6 Eastern. You know, John, just so that people understand who Omar Khadr is, he's one of eight people who were juveniles when they were brought to Guantanamo Bay. Now, most of those have been released, but Khadr and one other man are still there. Both of them are scheduled to go before a military tribunal. As you said, he is accused of murdering an American in Afghanistan. Now, the tapes show a Canadian official, not a U.S. official, interrogating Cotter, who is a Canadian citizen. His lawyers had previously alleged that he was mistreated, that he had been deprived of sleep. And these tapes show Cotter actually lifting his shirt to reveal bullet wounds and other injuries that he sustained in Afghanistan. He's also uncontrollably sobbing on the tape, as would be expected from a teenager. Let's take a look. You don't care about me, that's what... Well, I do care about you, but I want, I want to talk to the, to the honest Omer that I was talking to yesterday. I don't want to talk to this Omer. It wasn't honest. Yes, it was. You see, I'm not going to believe me. Well, look me straight in the eyes and tell me that you're being honest. I am being honest. Now, this is the first videotape we've ever seen of an interrogation at Guantanamo Bay. As John, you said, there have been others, but the U.S. government says that they were destroyed. Now, obviously, he's clearly distraught. This very much expected to add to the growing chorus of critics who want Guantanamo Bay closed. After much criticism, a Supreme Court ruling that detainees could challenge their detention in U.S. courts, we do know that the Bush administration is holding talks about how to close Gitmo. This, John, as you know, is only going to add to the fuel. So he's, he's what, 21 now, Kelly? That's right. He's 21 years old right. now. I mean, so, been there since he's 15, in custody since he's 15. So when you look at this videotape, it doesn't seem to show any evidence of the so-called, you know, coercive tactics that we have heard so much about. Right. But right. are there allegations outside of what we see in the videotape here regarding Omar Khadr? Well, no, so far, I mean, as I said, his lawyers have, have said, look, he's been mistreated. Uh, he was sleep deprived uh, before he was interrogated. Uh, you know, they, they have not alleged that he was waterboarded or any of the other types of, of harsh interrogation tactics that we've heard about. The main thing about Cotter was that he was so young right. when he was brought there. And, and that, you know, there was an international outcry. You should not be holding children at Guantanamo Bay. I mean, he is, he is 21 years old now. Mm -hmm. But he's been there for a long time, and so that was really the crux of, of why this case got special attention.